All user research methods can be divided into quantitative and qualitative. They give us different information about user experience. Choosing between quantitative and qualitative methods is one of the first decisions we make when doing research. In today's video, we will learn the difference between two types of research. Quantitative research is used to understand what is happening. This kind of research helps us identify problems. Quantitative research answers the how many, how often and how much questions. How many users do something? How often users experience a certain problem? How much time do users spend doing something? In quantitative methods, the researcher measures user behavior in a way that can be quantified. Quantitative data express in numbers. The research result might sound like 30% of our users constantly face the issue A. Quantitative research often requires a large sample size. We might not get reliable research results if we don't collect the right amount of data. The term statistically significant is often used in the context of this type of research. Quantitative research methods include survey, observation, analytics, the kind of data we can collect using the tools like Google Analytics, and A-B testing. Quantitative research can simplify the decision-making process. For example, using results from A-B testing, you can say which version of the landing page works better in terms of the conversion. Now let's talk about qualitative research. This type of research focuses on the quality or meaning of end-user experience. The goal of qualitative research is to discover problems or opportunities in user experience. Qualitative research is focused on understanding users' underlying motivations and needs. What and why users do. What motivates users to complete this particular task? Why do users do what they do? Unlike quantitative data, which can be easily represented in numbers, qualitative data can be collected but not necessarily measured. The results of qualitative result research is often expressed in words. For example, users face the problem A because they don't understand how our product works. Qualitative research requires fewer respondents to understand the nature of the problem. Five or seven users per test group is often enough to understand the problem. Qualitative research methods include user interview, field studies, usability testing, qualitative usability testing, focus groups, and contextual inquiries. Does it mean that the qualitative user research is more valuable than quantitative research? The answer is no. Quantitative and qualitative research serve different purposes. They often should be used in tandem to provide reliable results. The goal of qualitative research is to understand and describe the meaning of the user experience, while quantitative research is, on the other hand, is more focused on validating design hypotheses. The type of research should be selected according to your goals. For example, you might want to understand the nature of the problem that users face. In this case, you will use qualitative research. But if you want to validate the hypothesis, your idea on how something should be solved, you likely will use quantitative research such as A-B testing. Here is a quick memo for choosing the right type of research. And now let's talk about scenarios. The first scenario is about determining the scale of the problem. You can collect qualitative research to learn the problem users face when they interact with your product, and after that conduct quantitative research to understand the level of the importance of the problem users mentioned. If you learn that 90% of your users are affected by a certain problem, the priority of this problem is likely high. The second scenario, benchmarking your product. Suppose you're testing how users complete purchases on your e-commerce website. With quantitative research, you can say how many people face 
problems during the product uh, purchase, but often can say why experience, they experience these problems. Qualitative research can answer not only why users experience the problem, but also how to fix the issue. To get the most of your research, you need to understand your design objectives and select the methods that best fits your goals. If you like this video, please subscribe and click on this tiny bell icon so you will we'll never miss the new video. Thank you.